Good day everyone. I am Jim G. Perez, your student teacher for today, and welcome to our class. So our lesson for today is all about materials of kitchen utensils commonly found in the kitchen. So before we start, let's have a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for today, for your love and protection. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, let's proceed to our course objectives. Number one. Value the uses and importance of the kitchen utensils. Number two, demonstrate the proper use of kitchen utensils. Number three, identify the materials of kitchen utensils and tools commonly found in the kitchen. So, simula natin sa isang laro na tinatawag na developmental awareness. Para lang siyang perfect and one word, guys. Uh, sa tingin nyo, ano ang nakikita nyo sa mga larawang ito. Yes? Tama. So, ano nga ba ang pumapasok sa ating isipan pag nakikita natin ang mga larawang ito? So, sabi dito, a kitchen utensil is a small handheld tool used for food preparation. Common kitchen tasks include cutting food items to size, heating food on an oven fire or an stove, Baking, grinding, mixing, blending, and measuring. Different utensils are made for each task. So we have here the five main categories of utensils. So first, mixing bowl basically for mixing of ingredients. Second, chopping board or cutting board is a durable board on which to place material for cutting. And third, the knife. Um, Napaka-importante na ito pagdating sa kusina. Hindi ito pwedeng mawala ng panghiwa sa ating mga gagamitin para sa pagluluto. Pang-apat, ang wooden spoon. Pwede ito sa baking, pwede rin sa panluto. Panghalo sa ating mga niluluto. And last but not the least, ang measuring cup. Napaka-importante na ito sa baking class kasi... Pag walang measuring cup, malamang hindi natin ma-perfect ang ating ibibig. So next, the following list are materials of kitchen utensils and equipment. First, aluminum. is the best for all around juice. It is the most popular, lightweight, attractive, and less expensive. It requires care to keep it shiny and clean. Much more, it gives even heat distribution no matter what heat temperature you have. It is available in sheet or cast aluminum. Since it is a soft metal, the lighter gauge will dent and scratch easily, making the utensil unusable. Aluminum turns dark when used with alkalis such as potatoes, beets, carrots, and other vegetables. Acid vegetable like tomatoes will brighten it. Next is stainless steel. It's the most popular material used for tools and equipments. But it's more expensive. It is easier to clean and shine and will not wear out as soon as aluminum. Choose those with copper aluminum or laminated steel bottoms to spread heat and keep the fat from getting hard dark spots. Stainless steels utensils may be bought in many gauge from light to heavy. The next one is plastic and hard rubber are used for cutting and chopping boards, tabletops, bowls, trays, garbage pails, and canisters. They are much less dueling to knives than metal and more sanitary than wood. Plastics are greatly durable and cheap but may not last long. Next, we have ceramic and heat proof glass. Used especially for baking dishes, 
casseroles and measuring cups. Glass and ceramic conduct the heat slowly and evenly. Many of these baking dishes are decorated and can go from stove or oven to dining table. And last, we have a glass. Good for baking but not practical on top or surface cooking. Great care is needed to make sure for long shelf life. So guys, tapos na tayo sa materials of kitchen utensils. And naturo ko na sa inyo ang importansya nito. So, do you have a question, guys? So, kung wala, ako na lang ang magtatanong sa inyo. So, naganda ako ng processing question bago tayo magtapos sa ating klase. Number one. For you as a student, how is it important to know the different materials of kitchen utensils and tools in your daily life? Yes? Very good. So, totoo ano, pagdating talaga ng araw ay kakailanganin natin ito para sa pagluluto. At uh, para alam natin ang proper ang tamang paggamit ng ating mga kitchen utensils. So proceed to the next question. Number 2. If you were given a chance to create a new tools and equipment, what would it be? How will people use it? Oh, sige, ikaw naman. Pwede, no? Para mas mapadali ang pagbabalat ng vegetable at saka ng mga prutas. So, sige. Bago tayo matapos, meron akong assignment para sa inyo. Ito ang directions. Research additional kitchen utensils that commonly found in the kitchen. Bring five different equipment found in the kitchen. So, magdala na lang kayo, no? Ng limang equipment na makikita sa kitchen para bukas. So, that's all. I call it a day. Thank you for listening. And don't forget your assignments for tomorrow, guys. Have a great day. Bye.